great to see you here. And your third Masoor International Cricket Tournament. How, how have things been progressing for you? Things have been good. Uh, the good thing to see is that the standard uh, in the tournament has been going up every single year. Um, there's a lot of good players coming through. Um, a lot of improvement in all the skills, the batting, the bowling and the fielding. So really good signs all around from all the teams. And what viewers around the globe are not nervous? Laza is also the, the national uh, Canadian uh, uh, fast bowler. Um, tell us a little bit about that. What's, what, you know, how you got into the team? What's the structure of cricket in Canada? Yeah, so um, I was fortunate enough to play in Pakistan as well. So I got to I represented Pakistan under 19. Um, after that, came over to Canada, and I was lucky enough uh, to represent Canada as well. I managed to play for about three years. Um, the, the thing with Canada is that the facilities and stuff like that, the structure is not as established as it is in the UK. Uh, but there's a lot of hardworking players. Um, I myself, I work very hard. There's a lot of sacrifices we have to make along the way. Um, but that's all part and parcel of the game. I mean, all the players in this tournament, even coming here all the way to England. Uh, it's a big sacrifice. A lot of guys are working. Uh, a lot of guys don't get a lot of time. So, um, you know, it's definitely it's a, it's a big sacrifice, but it's the passion of the game that, that, that takes us forward, right? Right. So, obviously, uh, Canada is quite a large province. Yep. Lots of different states. Yep. Um, what What's the state? What, what is, do you tend to have a national league? Or is it provincial at regional level? Yeah, so we have, uh, well, I mean, the Canadian team is obviously selected from all around, uh, but majority of the cricket is played in the Toronto area. So in Toronto, we have the Toronto League, and then there's a lot of surrounding leagues based on the areas. Um, so a lot of these players, a lot of us, we play in the Toronto League, um, and our season runs from about May till September, October. Um, and uh, yeah, so I mean, uh, they, they, they basically the stats um, all around through the season. I mean, you'll get about 20 odd games in the season. Um, the conditions do vary. Uh, like I said, the facilities aren't as good as here in England. So some of the surfaces aren't, aren't uh, all uh, turf. Some of them are artificial surfaces as well. Um, so it is very different. Coming here, there's a little adjustment that's required on our end, uh, which is part of the preparation. I mean, we train in indoor facilities for most of the winter, um, all the way through April to May. And then uh, coming here out to turf, it is a bit of a challenge, but um, I mean, the players are ready. I think most of it is a psychological game because it's a huge tournament. Uh, it's growing every single year. Uh, but mentally, we've worked on a lot of stuff. The skills are always there. I mean, everybody, each and every individual has their own set of, skill, um, set of skills that they bring to the table. But um, it's a psychological game, I think, that, that, that separates the best teams and who's going to win the tournament. Reza, so tell us a little bit about how are the two Canadian teams, you're up here next in the quarterfinals, how are the two teams selected? How are they, uh, how are they, you know, what's the selection process that you people adopted? Yeah, so, um, so the selection process, I mean, there's a lot of criteria, obviously. I mean, uh, you know, obviously starting from the fundamentals, so attendance at practice, um, obviously your involvement with the Juman is important as well. Um, and then in terms of balancing the sides, we obviously have two sides. We have a lot of guys, a large pool of players that are all so passionate, they all want to be here. They all want to be part of this. Uh, and the majority, the primary reason for that is to get a chance to be Azur as well. It's not something we get all the time. Um, and then cricket is obviously a side benefit of that, the way we see it. Uh, but obviously, you know, in, with the tournament specifically in mind, um, the way this year we went about it was uh, we did shuffle the teams about, around a bit. So the majority of the guys in the um, our Canada A team, which is our second team, um, were permanent part of our main team. Um, but this year they're in the, uh, the B team now, so uh, the A team is comprised mostly of the younger guys. So we're looking for development. So we're looking to grow these guys, get this group of guys to work and work with them, you know, year after year, keep a core group, and then obviously you know there'll be some changes. There's a lot of young guys that are coming through as well. Adopted by the, UA, by the UK team as well. Exactly. A lot more younger players coming yeah. through, They're learning with a mixture and combination of the elders as well. Exactly. Because you want that youth and experience together. Yeah. And and do you have a selection panel, or, or is it a committee that ultimately decides? Is it a, a group of three or five people who Absolutely. ultimately decides? Absolutely. Yeah. So we have a group of uh, there's uh, three selectors. There's uh, chief selectors. A lot of them have uh, been ex-players as well of the Amadia Cricket Club. Um, so they're the primary selectors that uh, select the main pool. So we filter it down. First we start with a large group of players. Uh, we bring it down to 30. From 30 we bring it down to 24. From the 24 we bring it down to less than that because that's just in the Toronto area. And then we have our main manager, Amsab. Amsab flies out across Canada and he goes out to see all the other provinces um, and all the talent that's out there. And there is a lot of talent, right? And the only way to see it is if you, you have to be there in person. Um, so he goes out and he picks a lot of players from outside the Canadian team and we make it part of our system that we have to include those guys because it's a Canadian team, that's right? It's not a Toronto team. So we make sure to involve those guys as well. But in terms of the training, they don't get too much of a chance to train with us together, but they work very hard in their respective provinces. Um, and then we get the team together and we all fly out together. Fantastic. Yeah. And sort of 
coming back to the international level, yeah. you represent the Canadian team, yeah. you bowl for the Mezzo, you bowler. Um, uh, what kind of international matches do you do? Right? What, what is kind of, what's the next fixture? Or which fixtures have you recently played in? So, um, well, first of all, so my involvement with the Canadian team, um, so when I actually played Pakistan in 19, I was a fast bowler. Um, but ever since I played for Canada, I've now become an all-rounder, so I back primarily. Um, and then I both spin as well. Um, but in terms of some of the fixtures, so we did have ODI status up until about, I think it was a year and a half ago. Um, unfortunately, we weren't able to retain that, so we've lost our one-day international status. So we've sort of dropped down a little bit in the rankings, but that's motivation for the next generation, then, right? So we're, now our goal is to grow a lot of the younger guys. There's a lot of fantastic talent that I've seen in our group here, um, in the pool of players that I think can play in the Canadian national team as well. Um, and that's our job, right? To, to, to groom the next generation, to nurture them. Um, and the next major tournament, I guess, that we do have coming up, uh, we have some tournaments in the USA, um, and there's some United States national players in the American side as well that are here right now. Um, so that's our next challenge is to get a good group of guys for that. And then moving forward, um, there's a couple of World Cup qualifiers that we need to qualify for. And if we do well, we qualify for a World Cup, inshallah, and uh, things can be very positive from there. Yeah. Fantastic. So we've created some great bondship and friendship with our brothers from Canada. And we really appreciate you being here. Thank you. So on behalf of all of Majestic at UK, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Yeah, Canada as well. Thanks for having us, and it's it's always a pleasure. Thank you, Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.